Oh, you guys. Today is it's just a great it's just a great day today. Quite possibly one of the best days. And I know what you're thinking. Elle, why? Why is it the best day? Let me tell you. It's because it's upper body day. <laughs> I am such a big fan of upper body day. It's quite possibly one of my favorite days. So I'm going to take you along on my upper body routine, I guess. You're going to be seeing sort of the longer version of my upper body day just because currently I am unemployed and I do have the time to spend at the gym and I love spending time at the gym. It's my favorite thing to do. By no means is this a video to say this is what you should do for upper body, but the purpose of this video is basically just to show you all of the exercises that I enjoy doing for my upper body and hoping that you can find some inspiration if you are looking for things to incorporate into your own routine. And I'll give you a few different options for different exercises as well, different ways to do things depending on if your gym doesn't have the exercise machines that I'm using or if you just simply don't like it or if it doesn't feel comfortable for you. It's just we're just gonna have some fun. Let's go to the gym. I apologize for actually how loud it is in here. I'm sitting in the farthest corner I could find and this is what we're gonna have to work with, okay? So I'm gonna start with back. I like to do a few different things for back and I do like to superset a lot of my back workouts with bicep movements and kind of combine them. That's how I save time personally. Oh my God, it is so loud. As a rule for these, I usually do about three sets of 10 reps. Let's do it. For this, first for this first exercise as well is when I bring in my first superset, which is sevens with the dumbbells with uh, for bicep curls. I'll demonstrate. Thought I might hit the voiceover for this one. So we're doing seven reps on the bottom half of the full range, seven reps on the top half of the full range, taking a really quick break, and then seven full range reps just to finish it off, just to really feel that burn. Next for back, I hit the rows with another superset of bicep curl. I usually just do two sets of this with eight to ten reps. I'm shaking so much from the pre-workout. <laughs> I then superset the rows with this bicep exercise, which is just normal curls and then the other way as well. I don't know how else to really explain that. <laughs> then I move on to chest. I only really do chest press and push-ups for chest because they're two compound movements and I don't really love chest day, so I just keep it simple. I got really sick of talking to the camera because it was so loud, so you just get voiceover. L. I do usually three or two sets of these depending on my mood. Today, I just did two. Pro tip, don't be afraid to ask for a spotter. And I'm going to, be right back. Tell that. You look like, which way is this? <laughs> you could definitely do heavier. Do you have What should I do? Yeah, angle like six to eight. Put the tens off. Should we do it? Yeah. Breathe in. Up, breathe out. Yeah, come on. You got this, you got six. After chest, I go straight into shoulder press. I've had to drastically drop my weights in this because I did hurt my shoulder a week or so ago and it's still kind of recovering. In fact, I did half a set of these and decided to stop for the day just because if I hurt it more, I can't get back to it sooner. So last but not least, I hit triceps. I usually do triceps on the ropes, but they were both taken for pretty much the whole time I was at the gym. So I wasn't able to do that, but I have four other options here for triceps for you to have a little peek at. Oh, that is the best part about getting home from the gym, is taking out the high ponytail. Here we are at the end of a successful arm day. I went to the gym at 12 o'clock because I thought it would be a lot quieter and I thought, you know, we could have a chat, we could hang out, we could have a nice gym session together. 
Alas, it didn't turn out that way. I'm going full force into those voiceovers this time around, unfortunately. However, I hope that this video was helpful in some way, shape or form for you. I'll be doing a few more upper body videos just based on the fact that I can't actually physically do shoulders at the moment because I hurt my shoulder trying to hit a PB a couple weeks ago. That's a whole other story. But once I get back into shoulder training, there's a whole, there's a whole part of my training that you just, you're not even ready for, to be completely honest with you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And as I have said before, if you have any questions or you'd like to see more of something specifically, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. But other than that, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.